pellets. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, pint of raw ether, two dozen amyl. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. God damn, I never rode in a convertible before! Is that right? Well, I guess you're about ready then, aren't you? We're your friends. We're not like the others, man. Really? No more of that talk or I'll put the fucking leeches on you, understand? <laughs> Get in. Are you ready for that? Checking into a Vegas hotel under a phony name with intent to commit capital fraud and a head full of acid? I sure hope so. 30 minutes. It was going to be very close. What's the score here? What's next? Great, hang on to it. Fucking A, the gentleman has a major credit card. That's right, man. Don't take any guff from these fucking swine. You just got through saying that. Do you realize who the fuck you're talking to? Hey. Do you? Be over in 30 minutes. I was right in the middle of a fucking reptile zoo. And somebody was giving booze to these goddamn things. There's uh, two women fucking a polar bear. Don't tell me those things. Not now, man. Oh, devil ether. It makes you behave like the village drunkard in some early Irish novel. Total loss of all basic motor skills. Blurred vision, no balance, numb tongue. The mind recoils in horror, unable to communicate with the spinal column, which is interesting because you can actually watch yourself behaving in this terrible way, but you can't control it. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. How about some ether? What? Never mind. All right, listen to me. In a few hours, she'll probably be sane enough to work herself into some sort of towering Jesus-based rage at the hazy recollection of being seduced by some kind of cruel Samoan who fed her liquor and LSD, dragged her to a Vegas hotel room, and then savagely penetrated every orifice in her little body with his throbbing, uncircumcised member. A drug person can learn to cope with things like seeing their dead grandmother crawling up their leg with a knife in her teeth. But nobody should be asked to handle this trip. There's absolutely no choice but to cut her adrift and hope her memory was fucked. With a bit of luck, his life was ruined forever. Always thinking that just behind some narrow door in all his favorite bars, men in red woolen shirts are getting incredible kicks from things he'll never know. I just wanted to cut a little thing in your forehead. <laughs> that rotten attorney of mine, Dr. Gonzo, was gone. He must have sensed trouble. I uh, see. Oh, you evil bastard. This is your work. You better take care of me, Lord. If you don't, you're gonna have me on your hands. Stay calm. Stay calm. I'm a relatively respectable citizen. Multiple felon, perhaps, but certainly not dangerous. Who are these people? These faces? Where do they come from? They look like caricatures of used car dealers from Dallas. And sweet Jesus, there are a hell of a lot of them at 4.30 on a Sunday morning. Still humping the American dream. That vision of the big winner somehow emerging from the last minute pre-dawn chaos of a stale Vegas casino. Listen, let's get down to brass tacks here. How much for the eight? I knew I was fucked. I know, I'm guilty. I understand that. I knew it was a crime. I did it anyway. Should why argue I'm a fucking criminal? Look at me. I need a fucking lawyer immediately! What are you doing in Baker? Didn't you get my telegram? What telegram, you worthless bastard? I'll cripple your ass for this. One of the things you learn after years of dealing with drug people is that you can turn your back on a person, but never turn your back on a drug, especially when it's waving a razor-sharp hunting knife in your eye. Rabbit, why is it only up? I want you to throw that fucking radio into the... 
Come with me. Fuck, you're going completely sideways now. That'll blast you right through the wall. You'll be stone dead in 10 seconds. Fuck, they'll make me explain things. Shut sure. What was I doing? What was the meaning of this trip? Was I just roaming around in a drug frenzy of some kind? <laughs>